Move along now. We are at a clean dock in Jorvik. You must be the dog master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, take it up with the council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Luvina. You know Hjor and Luvina? What business do you have with them? We know each other from Norway. Bid farewell to that land, but not to old friends. You may be glad to hear they fare quite well in Jorvik. It does not surprise me. They're driven, and so am I. Now I would like to see them again. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Hjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. A manor. Hjor and Yuvina have done well for themselves. Keep your coin pouch close to you. There are pocket thieves around lately. <gasps> they can try. I cannot wait I the Yuletide feast. The third trait of mine taken this week, and with no explanation. Rules are rules. Their home. The place has been ransacked. And this body. It's not Hjor or Lufna. Scattered scrolls. The thief was looking for something. There's a struggle here. Looks like it continued outside. Blood, but nobody. Which way did they go? Who is that? Come closer. It's me, Juvena. It's Eivor. Eivor? What? Who sent you? Are you with them? Breathe, Juvena. You're rattled. You know me. I'm a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. I heard there was trouble in Jorvik. I have only come to help, on my honor. Sorry, Eivor. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. Where is your? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. We may not be safe just yet. Best go hooded here. They are still looking for me. Hide low. We can slip past them. Yeah, 
one that he's near. Already dead. I think it is safe now. Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again. Though I imagined a calmer reunion. We fought one problem only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richier is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They could belong to anyone. The slush in the streets often drips from the goddess of the halls. When in doubt, look to those in power. You mean the council? Pure is on the council. That works in our favor. Someone we can trust to find the answers we seek. Yes, we are nearly there. It pleases me to see you, old friend. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It is good to find you well, Jor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I've come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Free figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Jor. What? These people send the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret. But they failed. Uh, this is the letter that was sent to our home. The Needle, the Firebrand, the Vault. They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names. Our leads. Listen to her, Jor. She has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into Jorvik. But King Rishi's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I'll need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. are winning this war. We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men. Understood, dear Farivid, but we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on. Enough. The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Sure. I was not aware we had company, the likes of which I did not approve. King Rissie, I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Well, Eivor of the Raven Clan, as you can see, I'm in the middle of something. Hyor, perhaps for lack of better judgment, deems it necessary that you interrupt. Why? You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Juvena was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again. She survived, but the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? You some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am Farhavid, war chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well fed wastrel is Aldun, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want, not what Hafton wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I'll rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor. Do what you can, but do it quietly. 
I do not want the public alarmed. Cure. Send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. He tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? So come. I'll take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishie will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. A circle of trust must stay between the three of us. I have come from afar to join your crew, Avon. To me, warrior. Let gold and glory be our meat and need. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. Uh, my love, I am sorry for what happened. I should have been there. Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits die with the struggle. Jor has changed. Softened. Politics. It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. You've made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts. The Gospels. Ecclesiastes. The Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run the city now, but the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more, Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The Archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Althon keeps a close eye on the place. I'll try my luck there. I'll get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs. Changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I'll return when I find something. Official scrolls stamped with a seal. I should look around. Thank you, Alden. I will leave with these at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Luvina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Hmm, and destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The Abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the South. 
Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else that much is clear. The Abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the Rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the Bishop. He has been sneaking around the Rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The Rectory is on the road to the Minster. I should look for the Bishop there. and supplies, but not enough to arm and feed even the smallest army. the rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. Seems quiet. Where is everyone? Someone is hiding in there. Doubt he'll come out. I'll have to find a way in. Musky. Been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. I hear you priests have been hiding ever since some Christian texts went missing. What are you hiding from? The Red Hand? Who else? They muscle their way to and fro. No one has done a thing about it. I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. Said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. Wh what do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. Dominus autum acceptable. Liquidia Domino. Signatra unis pia et pi sunt simula natura. Sed ic quod est naturae misis Deus manifestat arbitrium. The bishop's courses. What is that burning smell? Several Christian texts. The abbess was right to cast suspicion the bishop's way. Blood. It's a struggle here. Ugh, the stench. He looks like suture shit. A charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died.
someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burned, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around! Search every room! They're around here somewhere! It's them! It's the Red Hand! Oh, Lord of mercy! Quiet. The Red Hand. I need to leave. We will burn that sinner just like the others. Target sent the red hand after me. I must be closing in. It's time I head to the minster. The abbess knows more than she's letting on. So we, do you think that you'll ever be up here like me? Will you fly against me and try testing your luck? I accept, and like lightning will leave you dumbstruck. Not bad, but what will you wager? Here's my bet, now do your worst. I call down from on high the full strength of the gods to defeat all the stammerers, weaklings and frauds. And those men who approach, I make fools of them all. The one fool I see here is up on that wall. Not bad, I suppose. I am here in the clouds while you crawl on the ground like a sad little worm making a pitiful sound. And my height goes to show how above you I stand. Then enjoy while you can, a great fall is at hand. Surprisingly competent. I have every advantage I see for an age. My words are my weapons, these ramparts my stage. What's it like being tiny, an ant in the loam? What's it like feigning hugeness? You're not but a gnome. That one landed. Well, for a mere speck of a flighter, you're surprisingly strong. You've earned your winnings. You're a mighty little midge. Better luck next time! Go, my eyes.
locked. There must be another way in. No place for you, priest. Go. Now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once! Something troubling you, father? Abbas, look. They are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because they ordered them to. What? The vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this! I won't let you! There's no one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed! Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, Firebrand. The Abyss is the Firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time I get between her and her next victim. This fire that burns inside. I've always had it. A longing to do something grand and important. But that 
door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out. Shunned. Scorned. But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand. Not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on. For one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To Helheim, where colder and crueler fires await. Tensor Juvena. She'll want to know about Abbas Inkyborg's involvement. What news do you bring? The Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's abbess, Inkiborg. Gods, I would never have suspected. Does the Order's reach no no bounds? None, and it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The abbess sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city, rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that hurt my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless six have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone beaten and bloodied. The howling mother takes them. Novena, a moment of your time. And your if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up.
There is much honor to be earned fighting by your side, Eivor. Join your blade to mine. Let ring the sword song this day. Well guarded by the Red Hand. The Order has a stake in these docks. It seems like the complaints by the merchants never reached the Council. Exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. So the Dark Master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved wear black cloth. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around. Them. Master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Coppergate Market. I'll flash some silver to the merchants that should get their attention. Okay, where to? Go one by one, and if any of these peddlers gives you off, I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver pass through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori, the Dark Master. Sorry, who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please go. Hey, friend. I have a hoard of silver I'm aching to spend. Can you help me? What have you got? I have nothing left to trade, but Coppergate Market is the right place. Ask around. You'll find someone who'll bend an ear. My thanks. about 
about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. Have you any wine for sale? There's nearly a drop in tower. Sorry. All the wine's been bought up. here are vigilant. The sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? All this silverware. Some still in their crates. Has this all been seized as well? They're melting the silver into bars and coins. What do they plan on doing with it? to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dock in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand, who can thread a needle. Someone like me. You're a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. Think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done! Oh, 
Come, come. Walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory. Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please. Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. I should not be seen in this area. You do as you're told. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for, me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, he gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand. Showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt. And I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. What news do you bring? The needle will never sting again. Well done, Neivor. Who was hiding behind the name? My love, there has been an attack at the markets. The dockmaster, Grigory, is dead. 
The Needle. Sold off the wares he seized to collect silver for the vault. He had no such authority. Why would anyone believe him? The Council Seal. That rat. This is getting out of hand. How he was able to obtain this is concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide Feast. But I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. A valuable seal. And a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rysie, Faravid, Odin, and... Your... The four members of the Council. We should search their offices now, while they are occupied with the Yuletide Feast. Yes. Yes. Come, to the Archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. <laughs>